Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I am here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. And we've got some bad news for you. Some bad news for you. The Lord of the Rings, the Rings of Power, did not do as well as Amazon claimed. Surprise. Surprise. I mean, it should have been like we have some not surprising news for you. Yeah, so let's let's talk about this because uh, there has been a lot of discussion about how the Lord of the Rings, the Rings of Power could not fail. And as of two days ago, I think Amazon put out their own press release claiming that 25 million people watched the Lord of the Rings, the Rings of Power, and it was the most successful thing they've ever done. But Samba TV says otherwise. In fact, Samba TV says not only did House of the Dragon completely destroy it, but so did Obi-Wan and Moon Knight. <laughs> Moon funny. Knight. Okay, so let's talk about this and what these numbers mean. And again, this is a, a good case as to why streaming needs to be more transparent. The numbers need to be more transparent because these companies can just say whatever the hell they want to say and you just have to take them well, at face they're value. They're going to argue on that. They say these are just U.S. numbers. Oh, okay. But okay. so the other... 20 some million for, for everywhere else. <laughs> I guess, I guess, I don't know. So let's talk about this before we get to it any further. Please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. Over 275,000 subs. Yay! Check out clownfishtv.com. Yes, please do. Uh, and check out the Crimson Wren campaign. We're almost to $50,000 on And we have like a little more than two weeks. Yeah, a little more than two weeks. So it is done. The book is done, it just, it just needs lettered. It needs lettered and sent to the printer. It's done. Now, the reason it's gonna be, we gave it such a long window for delivery is because, well, if you've been following along our videos with the printing issues and the supply chain debacles, then you'll understand why we gave a little extra time. There's a good chance you'll get it much sooner than that. Yeah. But we wanted to allow for time in case of uh, any unforeseen issues. Unforeseen issues, uh, supply chain issues. Anyway, let's let's talk about this. Um, so this is uh, coming from, uh, let's see, Games Radar, and they picked up the tweet from uh, Luis Fernando, who said that, yeah, uh, have, you know, House of the Dragon completely destroyed Lord of the Rings, Rings of Power, because uh, it had 4.8 million U.S. households. Well, these are U.S. These no, are U.S. And they're going to argue, but there's no way in hell 20 million plus was just everywhere else. Uh, look, this is the problem with streaming, and this is why you know they don't really have a Nielsen's per se. Samba, I think, is the only company that actually tracks it. I think like Samba and Para Analytics and a couple other ones. But you just have to take the company's word for it. Like, yes, this many people, honest to God, this many people watched our show. No, no, they're probably telling the truth. It was probably 27 million people watched it that were outside the U.S. in these farms where you can pay to have people <laughs> watch your show farms. to, you know, up yeah. the numbers. Meanwhile, on Amazon Island, <laughs> yeah. deep in the Pacific with, you know, 20 million cell phones all watching at the same time. So House of the Dragon, we know, did really, really well. People said it was killing it, which is so weird because, you know, the last couple seasons of Game of Thrones really turned a lot of people off. But uh, it's absolutely killing it. Stranger Things, this is no surprise. Stranger Things 4, 2.9 million mm -hmm. uh, in the first four days. Uh, Obi-Wan, 2.14 million. That actually surprised me. Well, Obi-Wan people really were, were excited about until they saw it. Until they saw it. Well, I think that's the same with Lord of the Rings. And I think, you know, I think it's like people are like, oh my God, I can't wait. I mean, I was excited about Obi-Wan. Obi-Wan was one of the only, you know, Star Wars things they announced that I actually was kind of happy about because I liked the prequels. Well, I liked Doom McGregor. The people who saw the original script that was scrapped, the rumor is that it was about Obi-Wan and Luke. I know, right? Because it's almost like people expected that because yeah. it made the most sense. Anyway. That's kind of what I expected. Not enough tits. Anyway. Freaking Moon Knight. Moon Knight. But Moon Knight was another one that was people were really excited about. They were. They were. But this is um this is very different than what uh you know Amazon was saying that they got 25 million bullshit. 25 million people globally watching it. Again, you have to take their word for it. I'm like, oh, are these proven numbers? I'm like, well, I guess I guess we're wrong. I guess a lot of people are watching it. And it turned out that it was their press release. They released a press release. And you know, there might be 25 million again through through phone access or accounts <laughs> in other places, because if Amazon is the one putting out the press release and they have the it's their site they can easily allow access to a bunch of uh, oh absolutely things at once absolutely i mean there are shopping bots or probably viewing bots yeah, too. 25 million was kind of like 
that was... I was like, is that people or hours of watch time or what the heck were they arguing? I don't know. But I mean, look, a lot rides on this show. I guess I can't blame them completely because there are literally are jobs on the line. They spent a billion dollars for this. They've been locking reviews. You're not even allowed to review it negatively. Well, right, because they suddenly get reviews and they're just a tiny, there's like a handful of reviews and they're claiming 25 million. People are going to be like, where are all the reviews? So let's go back out to the article here. The House of the Dragon premiere beat the Rings of Power by a considerable margin. Samba TV suggests more U.S. households watch the House of the Dragon premiere. Um, it's beating Lord of the Rings, Rings of Power, and the fantasy TV war, according to new data. Both shows have been warmly received by critics. And they actually mentioned that the audience doesn't like Here's it. Here's the thing, though. You're allowed to like the show. I'm going to go right out and say flat out, because they're like, you're just you're hating this show. You are allowed to like this show. You are allowed to like the House of the Dragon show. You're allowed to like both. It's a win for fans of that kind of genre two, two different ways. Um, we're not knocking that. What we're knocking is the the narrative that has been presented by Amazon and media outlets ahead of the release, where it's just been all about, oh, it's you're racist, you're misogynist, if you don't like it, if you don't agree with everything, it's because you're a terrible person. Even though our son pointed out that if it's about racism and misogyny, the dwarf queen's like the one everybody, the character everybody seems to like, and she's not white and it's a woman. Um, and she's short. Right. But we're just like, we're, our, our, our take on this is the spin and the bullshit that we're seeing. Speaking of spin. I know. They were, they speak, were, people were having a hissy about that. Speaking of spin, I, I, got, I didn't think it was worth a whole video, but uh, Elon Musk said that Tolkien was turning in his grave. Um, and I'm like, which one? I think they both were. I think uh, J.R.R. and Christopher both turning in their graves over this adaptation. Well, it's not even an adaptation. It's created whole cloth. It's like, it's just, it should have just been like uh, my fan fiction kind of based on Middle Earth kind of by Amazon, but nobody would watch that. So they're like, yeah, Lord of the Rings, that's what it is. But yeah, so he was, he was dunking on it. Neil Gaiman had to clap back. He's like, Elon Musk, this is my Neil Gaiman voice. I don't know what he, Elon Musk doesn't come to me for advice on how to fail to buy Twitter. And I don't go to him for film, TV, or literature criticism. Well, the, yeah, how to build by Twitter. Well, first of all, Twitter has to provide all the data that they're not yeah, providing. No, right. And they've had to subpoena people to get the data. So, you know, there's a little more to it than that. Oh, I noticed I that. always thought it was really dumb of Elon Musk to buy Twitter in the first place. I, I was like, dude, why would you buy this when it's all fake anyway? And then, it, oh, look, it might all be fake. It's a fixer-upper. It's like uh, yeah, uh, but for the money pit. 40, was it $44 billion for this fixer-upper? $44 billion. Dollar. I was like, I wouldn't. It's not even worth $4 billion. Uh, I know this guy, Darnell. Hi, Darnell. I know you. I follow you on Twitter. We talk sometimes. Anyway. Anyway, uh, so here's the deal. Per Samba TV, a lot more U.S. households watch House of the Dragon versus uh, Rings of Power. In both shows, first four days, House of the Dragon was watched by 4.8 million U.S. households, while the Rings of Power drew 1.8 million U.S. households. What's more, 2.6 million of those House of the Dragon household views were in the first six hours. Yeah, I know it crashed yeah. HBO Max and uh, so people were having viewing parties. 2.6 million were in the first few hours, and that was 1.8 over four days. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm yeah. just pointing that out. Uh, it's, it's bad. I mean, hey, look, House of the House of the Dragon. This is why people are coming. All the tits. <laughs> That's a game. All the tits. Anyway, uh, Amazon Prime shared the Rings of Power. Uh, the Rings of Power brought in 25 million global views in the first 24 Again, hours. Again, they're using that global. And global. there's no way there'd be, there'd be, you know, 2.3 or 2, 23, I'm sorry, 23 point something million views that were everywhere but the U.S. I'm sorry. I, I question that highly. And there is a one way that would be true. HBO, meanwhile, declared just shy of 10 million U.S. viewers on premiere night. Samba TV only measures views from certain TVs, however, which might explain the discrepancy. No, 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 no. no H so HBO would didn't, didn't have the right number either. No. So, it's, so you know. Uh, yeah. So this is. Um, but they were much closer to their number than Amazon. <laughs> let's just say that when you're talking about less than half. Less than half the views. And it's on par with freaking Moon Knight. You know, I mean, people are watching Moon Knight because, you know, Oscar Isaac and all that. But Moon Knight was never an A-list Marvel character. It was like, oh, yeah, blah, blah, blah. Spider-Man's teaming up with Moon Knight. But there were a lot of people, there were people that were excited about Moon Knight, though. Yeah. You know, did She-Hulk and Moon Knight were the ones people were excited about. <laughs> I'm sorry. I think people I'm have really lost sorry. faith in Disney at this point. But, you know. But they're still pulling bigger I numbers. I Moon Knight, though. 
It's still I actually kind of like Moon Knight. So I didn't mind okay. it. I didn't mind it. I I, I haven't watched She Hulk because everything I've seen about it, I just have noticed. I was going to. I don't even think Cox can make me watch it. When when he was actually Moon Knight, when he was in costume, it was pretty okay. Mm-hmm. But most of it was just yeah. Because anyway. that's expensive. Ah, it's not really bad news for the Rings of Power either. Again, using Samba TV figures, it's the fourth biggest streaming show of the year behind House of the Dragon, Stranger Things, and Obi-Wan. So that's okay. But they spent a billion dollars. One billion dollars. A billion dollars on this thing, and it was not allowed to fail. But they're okay, but even if okay, even if they're trying to argue not everybody had Samba TV. What, what HBO Max said globally was their number was twice as much as the U.S. Okay, that actually could be possible if you go globally. But even if it was off, um, you know, it, it's, it's, it's still like not that far off from the number. But they're saying 25 million globally for Amazon. And it doesn't even make sense. It doesn't make sense. I, look, they're not going to let this fail. Uh, you know, again, there were multiple articles out there. It's not just Clownfish TV making up sources. There were multiple articles out there coming from like business insiders saying that internally they are freaking out over the rings of power because they don't know how it's going to be received. They spent a shit ton of money on it and uh, there are literally jobs on the line. It would have been received a hell of a lot better if you hadn't started out, well, one, with dismissing, you know, scholars, but two, starting out with immediately, well, you're going to hate it because it's, it's diverse and fans that don't like it are horrible, istophobic, misogynist trolls and you don't like it because you're racist. If you hadn't done that and you hadn't stopped the media from running with that bullshit narrative, you probably would have done a lot better. Because people aren't going to watch it, even if it's good. They're not going to watch it now because you've turned them off with your bullshit. Yeah, and they can't. And again, speaking of bullshit, I mean, the media keeps trying to spin this narrative that the reason people are dunking on, the sole reason people are dunking on the Rings of Power is the race swapping because they got nothing else. I mean, because they did race swapping in House of the Dragon, too, but people aren't complaining about it. It's not race swapping. They're new characters. Yeah, they're new. I mean, it doesn't really matter, you know, at the grand scheme of things. That's not the main problem. People, I mean, there are people that have issues with it, and I do understand where Tolkien was coming from, but the gist of it is the show is just not very good. Right. I don't think people would have cared so much about them adding some diversity to the show. What they're mad about was they led with, hey, there's diversity, and if you don't like it, you're an asshole. Yeah, House of the Dragon there. Oh, my God, there are black people in House of the Dragon. And and it's not coming up like it is for Lord of the Rings, you know? Because they didn't lead with that. They you hate our it. show, it's because you hate diversity and and women and, and all this shit. They didn't lead with that. And they did better. You're just the bigot. That's why you don't like this show. No, when you've got, again, when you've got critics like Grace Randolph being the ones that are, you know, again, she's left-leaning, she's female, and she's saying Gladriel is a Mary Sue and a Karen, and she's completely unlikable, you're kind of screwed, yeah. you know? I mean, I'm sorry, it just blows that up. So, you know, and there's been some weirdness around the, the ratings, they've been locking the ratings and all that, but yeah, like the audience score, they both have very similar critical scores, but the audience score is... Uh, um, 85% for House of the Dragons, 39% for The Rings of Power. So people were out to tank fantasy shows that had black people in them because there are black people in the House of the Dragon. You think they would they would tank, tank that one too. too? That's not the issue. The issue is the show's not very good. The marketing has sucked. The marketing, it's, I think, it's just like Mr. Shira. The marketing did more damage to you than yes. anything. House of the Dragon, I forgot it was even coming out. I'm going to be completely honest. I forgot it was a thing. Like, oh, yeah, I guess they're doing more Game of Thrones. Is that a movie, a show? What is that? When's that coming out? And they just kind of dropped it, and people were like, damn, this is actually pretty good. Right. So you know, why don't you just show and not tell? If you would just put your shit out there and play up the, the strengths and not make it about, oh, if you don't like it, it's because you're, you're a phobe and istophobic, terrible person, you might do better. People might give it more of a chance and people might watch it and like the show. And you know what? Again, if you like the show, you are allowed to like the show. I'm not judging you for liking the show. Anybody who likes the show can like it. I don't care. Uh, my my concern is the behavior of the, the marketing and the people behind the show and how they've been treating people um, leading up to it and yeah. since it's released. That's where I come, I'm coming from. And was it worth it? Because in the end, it didn't really bring the viewers in the way you thought. I mean, again, they're saying 25 million. You have to trust Amazon because there's no way to prove or disprove that number. Again, HBO said that number for the House of the Dragon was about 10 million. It was about 5 million in the US, 5 million everywhere else. Kind of makes sense. 
1.8 million in the US for for the Lord of the Rings and then the other millions are made up everywhere else. I mean, so you can only give a little bit for the fact that not everybody has it. Well, let's also let's also just throw in the fact here that I think a lot more people have Amazon Prime than have HBO Max. Right, because you get Amazon Prime when you just do Prime shipping and stuff. Right. So what does that tell? I mean, I, I'm sorry. I, I don't think this is hitting the numbers they were hoping it's going to hit. Uh, I think they're doing more damage by trying to do damage control. And um, I don't know. They're saying they're going to do five seasons of it. I'm like, good luck with that. I guess if they want to keep burning money, that's up to them. But mm -hmm. uh, I think audiences are rejecting it. And uh, it seems like they're they're going for other things. You know? I don't, yep. I, I don't know. I'm going to wrap it up? Yep. All right. So please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. We'll talk later. Bye.